Hi guys, welcome to Justice K TV. My name is Justice Joseph Kofikabe, your ICT educator for today's lesson. Today's lesson, we are going to look at Revision Mock 5 and uh, Information and Communication Technology. If today is your first time of being part of this class, or if today is your first time of watching me, I will advise you subscribe to my YouTube channel and subscribe and press the notification bell. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you encourage me to bring more of these tutorials to help our students at home to understand ICT more and more. In that case, let's start with the lesson one, which is question one, the objectives. The process of moving through web pages for information using hyperlinks on the internet is referred to as A. Downloading B. How can C browsing and D logging? What name is given to an electronic document, text, graphics, video, animation, links, etc., written in hypertext markup language? Website B hyperlink C web page D anchor. Question 3 What program or software? are used to control the operation of the computer system a database software b system software c application software d browsing software question four the virtual location on the computer where programs files folders can be located stored is called the virtual location on the computer where program files folded can be located or stored is called A. Folder B. Icon C. Text D. Shift Which key on the computer keyboard is used to erase characters to the left of the cursor? A. Spacebar B. Backspace C. Delete Then D. Shifts which button in the web browser window is used to navigate to the previously viewed web page? A. Refresh B. Stop button C. Forward button and D. Back button Question 7 Pick the odd one out A. Writer B. Excel C. Quattro Pro then D, Lotus 1, 2, 3. Question 8. The space bar on the computer keyboard is used to A, erase characters, B, type characters, C, insert gap between words and characters, D, punctuation, punctuate words. 9. The intersection of a row and column in a worksheet is known as the intersection of rule and column in the worksheet is known as A. Active cell B. Dependent cell C. Name box D. Cell Question 11. Which of the following is an example of operating system? A. Language translator B. Device driver C. Uh, Solaris and D. Disk The current cell in spreadsheet are spreadsheet environment ready to accept data entry from the user is referred to as a passive cell b active cell c range d dependent cell question 12 which of the following is a toolbar found in excel but not in ms word a title bar b formula bar c menu bar d status bar question 13 an input device performs the following functions except a presenting the computer with data b giving the computer commands and instructions c provides processed or stored data to the user d change the human language to computer language question 2 Question 14, sorry. The following are features of graphical user interface, except A. Menu B. Icon C. Command Line and D. Window Which of the following is not a storage medium? A. Pen drive B. Hard disk 
C touch pad and D diskettes. A set of cells in the vertical direction in spreadsheet environment is refers to as A sheets, B column, C range, D cell. In using MS Word, one can change a case of a document by using which of the by using the steps the following steps. A. Format, case, highlight, OK, case type. B. Case, select, format, type, and OK. Then C. Format, select, case, and OK. Then D. Format, select, change case, change type, and OK. Question 18. Which of the following is an input or output device? Which of the following is an input or output device? A. Scanner B. Multiplexer B. Barcode Reader D. Plotter 19. A feature in MS Word which enables user to surround a picture or diagram with a text is known as A. Word Wrap B. Autocorrect C. Text Wrap D. Clip at Question 20. A real-time typed conversation between two or more people on the internet is referred to as A. Instant messaging B. Video conferencing C. Podcast and D. RSS The RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication It stands for Simple A uh, Really Simple uh, syndication that's the formula of RSS feed. Question 21 Social media network is also it refers to as social media network is also refers to as a community platform, b Twitter, c LinkedIn, and d virtual community. Question 22 The art of sending and receiving photo, videos, files, etc. to and from a mobile phone is called a instant messaging b video conferencing c multimedia uh, more uh, multimedia message service and d short message service 23 a computer based network of multimedia resource or information which can be accessed on the internet is known as a html which stands for hypertext markup language b w w w which stands for world wide web c u r l which stands for uniform resource locator then d ftp which stands for file transfer protocol question 24 which name is given to a computer used for creating document 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 on the world wide web which name is given to a computer used for creating document on the world wide web? XML, that's A, B, H, T, M, L, C, A, S, C, I, I, then D, T, C, P, I, P. So someone asks, what is the formula of XML and uh, A, S, C, I? It could be other abbreviation that does not relate to ICT abbreviations. But for the HTML stands for hypertext markup language, as we early, as as I said earlier, then D stands for transmission control protocol slash internet protocol. Good question twenty five. A computer network that covers a wide geographical area, usually over telephone line or satellite, is called A internet. B LAN, which stands for local area network. C man which stands for metropolitan area network D one which stands for wide area network question 26 a unique set of numbers for identifying computer connected on the internet is called a protocol B HTTP which stands for hypertext transfer protocol C IP IP address which stands for internet protocol address then D URL which stands for Uniform Resource Locator. Question 27. A type, a small chip which is used to identify 
and authenticate subscribers on the mobile device is referred to as a uniform resource locator b uniform resource location c subscriber identity model d subscriber identification mode question 28 a device that reads and write data into a disket is called a disket disk reader b hard disk reader c cd drive then d floppy disk drive question 29 a rigid device inside the computer that holds a large amount of data and programs is called a hard disk b hard disk drive c read only memory then d random access memory question 30 a computer of cpu responsible for calculations and logical reasoning a call reasoning is called a c which stands for control unit b r which stands for arithmetic logic unit c register then d cp which stands for central processing unit question 31 a type of user interface which allow people to interact with the computer through icons image menus etc is called a command line interface b communication line interface c graphical user interface and d operating system operating system yeah question 32 all the following are examples of search engines except a a site b search me b wikia search then d b a program or software that searches through web pages on the internet for information based on individual set term by word typed in by word typed is called a spider b crawler based search engine then c indexer then d alta vista question 34 all the following are condition a work must certify before it can be copyrighted except a it must it must be original it must be original b it must be created by citizen c it must be produced by a foreigner then d it must be fixed in the definite a definite medium of expression or a definite medium of expression question 35 which of the following button in the browser window is used for keeping track of website of internet a stop b refresh c forward and d bookmark question 36 an exclusive right if officially granted by a government to an inventor to make or sell uh, to make or sell an invention is known as a copyright b patent c trademark d infringement question 37 a feature in ms word that allow characters to the right of the insertion point to be replaced with a newly typed characters is called a undo B autocorrect, C overtype, and D thesaurus. Question 38. A temporary memory location within a compute within an application where cut, copy, or selected items are kept is referred to as A clip at, B register, C RAM, which stands for random access memory, then D clipboard. Question 39. The amount of vertical white space between lines of text in a document is called A. Alignment B. Bullet C. Line spacing and D. Numbering Question 40. What name is given to an image, sound, animation or movie movie file stored as a library file in an application such as MS Word? A. ROM B. RAM C clipboard and D clip ads. That's the end of the objectives. As I always do, I'll leave the objective answers at the end of my tutorials so that you'll be able to mark and check uh, the scores or what you score in the objectives. Don't forget to press the subscribe button now. If you've not done it, subscribe now. Please subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube now. 
just press on the on the like button and also press the notification bell so anytime we upload a new video you'll be notified as students as parents and as an individual who is who is trying to learn have more insight about it so let's continue with the section b okay so question one study the diagram below carefully and use it to answer the questions that follows that's i to i i so this diagram i believe you've seen this diagram before this is the time and date uh when you want to set your time and date this is how it is on your computer screen okay so let's follow the questions as followed let's look at the question set under this very diagram name the diagram shown above so it's called what? date and time date and time dialog box in other books it said date and time setting correct so date and that time uh, date and time dialog box or date and time setting then the next question state the steps to display the diagram above on the computer screen so we have first click on the start uh, click on the date and time icon at the notification area click on click and change the date and time settings then we have another click on the start button click on the notification panel click on the dates and time then click on change date and time so these are the steps any of them are correct so when you write one any of the ones on the screen now is correct now let's come to the part label now we have a you have this to be the a yeah so the a is what you call the 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 days of months it covers all this and so it's called days of months and the b is what r r this one is r and this one is seconds so the c is seconds so take note then when we come to well, let's move to the next question step the, in the right order steps you will take in changing the background uh, desktop background of a personal computer so look at the steps we have two steps here so let's look at them how to use them we have the first one to click on the start button click on the control panel click on the desktop pictures or background select your desired picture then click ok or right click on the desktop click on personalize select your desired picture or theme now these two steps that you see where right all of them are correct any of them are correct but this one is for windows 7 windows x and L. but this one is windows 8 windows 10 windows 10 pro there's these steps are for windows 10 those who uses windows 10 but this one's for windows 7 ultimate windows 7 professional or window windows xp good now let's look at the next one state three features of a storage media so they have sectors they have storage area they have silver coated surfaces they have addressable units and made of what they are made of what plastic materials so these are some of the features of a story media so take note in case you meet it in exams you should be able to what answer it correctly so these are some of the features of a storage media the next question list at least two toolbars in ms word so we have the standard toolbar we have the drawing toolbar we have the formatting toolbar we have the picture toolbar we have the word act toolbar we have the form toolbar we have the frames toolbar and we have the ribbon toolbar these are some of the toolbars that we have in ms word application question two state any two functions of an input device of an output device sorry it indicates what the computer needs from the user it provides process data to the user it changes the process data from the computer language to human language so these are some of the output uh, functions of what output device or after of an output device so you take news so these are some of the functions so when you meet it you should be sure you should be able to apply good outline the steps to justify text in ms word select the test you want to justify on the formatting toolbar click on justify to apply to the selected test so this place is what on the formatting toolbar so you just take off this one this letter here so just a little mistake so on the formatting toolbar click on justify button to apply to the selected test c mention four components of system software so we have the operating system we have the language translator we have the device driver we have the utility software good let's look at question three state four uses of shift key one type it is used to type capital letters when the caps lock light is off 
two it is used in combination with the arrow keys to select a series of selected text it is used to play computer games it is used to type small letters when the caps lock light is on it is also used to play uh, type the uppercase characters on the keyboard good let's move to b of question three okay so question 3b list four examples of application software so we have the mavis beacon we have the ms excel we have the ms access we have the core draw we have paints we have the ms word so these are some of the examples of what application software now let's move to question 3c write the following acronyms in full so we have the khz which stands for kilohertz we have the tcp slash ip which stands for transmission control protocol or internet protocol and we have the ssim which stands for sim which stands for subscriber identity model then we have the eniac which is electrical numerical integrated and calculator so the 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 last one which is the eniac is an example of generation of computers so when we talk of generation of computers we have the first generation second generation third generation fourth generation and fifth generation we'll look more into it when we we start with our future lessons so we'll take more uh, notes when we start with uh, generation of computers good let's look at d explain the term search engine search engine is a program or software that searches through web pages on the internet for information based on the specific keyword typed and return list of information where the keyword were found so that is for the definition for search engines we have examples of search engines that will look into it when we start with our, our lessons now question four state the function of the following types of application software so we have the print preview it enables users to see exactly how uh, a page or a page on the current document will appear when printed so i said this in so in our previous lesson i think in our previous revision work i think i we, we made this similar question and we said it is a document or it displays how a document will look like when it is printed that is where the, the this abbreviation comes in what you see is what you get means that when uh, what you see on the screen is what you get when you print it on a paper then we have find and replace it helps quick search for every occurrence of a specified word or phrase thereby replacing them with a new word or phrase yes in your word processing document when you are typing and you want to replace or you want to change a phrase of your word in your sentence find and replace will help you replace some of the words in your word document for example you've typed something like um, about or let's say cancel we have examples or synonyms of cancel we have exit we have close we have abort we have terminate they are all they, are, they all have a similar meaning so when you fit when you type it in that sentence over there depending on based on the context of the sentence if it only that word you are using will fit the sentence then you put it there so it's by the help of what find and replace button now let's go to the next one which is undo it helps user to cancel or reverse the effect of the last action done in the document so that is uh, for undo so the shortcut kit for undo is control plus z control z control plus z now b list at least four tools in paint application so we have the magnifier we have line we have brush we have airbrush we have pencil we have for, uh, free from select we have select we have rounded rectangle and we have oval we have more of these tools in paint application application but i advise you to take note of this ones right learn at least five of the ones you are seeing here so in case you meet it in the exams you'll be able to apply good let's move to the next question explain the term editing in computing environment editing is the art of making correction or changes in a document using the tools such as undo cut copy spell check uh, spelling and uh, grammar check um, find and replace autocorrect and so on so in editing we use these things for editing question five mention four tools for formatting text 
so we have bold we have underline we have italic we have font color we have font size we have font size we have font, uh, line space and we have alignment we have justify we have center we have numbering we have bulletin they are all tools found in what the formatting toolbar they are all examples of formatting tools yes good now let's move to the next question which is question 5b state two advantages of educational software they have they help to acquire relevant knowledge in the field of study good they provide drill and practice correct they have they serve as a source of information yes they help students to learn at their own pace that is correct so based on the educational remember remember that advantage of educational software are the ones that i'm giving you now learn at least the four here that i've given you at least three out of the four so that when you go to the exam hall you'll be able to write something as it student good next one explain the following terms information processing it is the computer activity for changing data into information then i are information processing cycle it is the series of activities that data passes through to become what information be very careful when you see this type of question at the same place i've seen students have marked strict exam script whereby students interchangeably write a definition for information processing cycle for information processing so i want you to understand that information process is the computer activity for changing data into information but when you come to information process cycle it is a series of activities that data passes through to become what information for example the stages are input stage processing stage output stage distribute uh, storage stage and distribution so these are the, the five stages in which information uh, data passes to to become what information good d list that steps to restore a deleted file or folder so first you have to open the recycle bin select the file or folder you want to restore then right click and choose restore so these are the steps these are the steps or this is the steps for how to uh, restore a deleted file or folder from the recycle bin. Remember, it is very important to make sure that you write the correct steps without mixing the steps so that you uh, you attain your perfect mark. Remember, these are the objectives answers for the objective I read earlier. Take your time and mark it and jot something down. If you have any question to ask, you can leave your question under the comment section below. So anytime I see it, I can reply you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also you can follow me on Facebook, also on Instagram and Twitter. All just to skate TV. ICT is for everyone, including you. Bye-bye.